اي <تصفيق> so we reached <تصفيق> الخليل من بلغ اعلى درجات المحبه so the khalil is the one بلغ who reached اعلى so it's obviously it's اسم تفضيل اي اكبر احسن درجات المحبه so درجات obviously the جمع of درجة درجة درجات طيب درجات مضاف المحبة مضاف إلي <coughs> so he mentions والمراد به <coughs> So the intent bihi, so bihi, yani qawluhu al-khalil. Wal muradu bihi Ibrahimu alayhi salam. So the intent, as we all know, behind khalil. Naam. <coughs> so the who, yeah, so, someone's asking a question. <coughs> The who in Fadlihi and obviously Hikmatihi Ya'udu ila Allahi Azza wa Jal. Naam, wal muradu bihi Ibrahim alayhi salam alladhi ittakhadahu Allahu khalilan. Ittakhada means to take. اتخذه أي الخليل إبراهيم خليلا as is mentioned in <coughs> سورة النساء والله says واتخذ الله إبراهيم خليلا so apart from إبراهيم who else was a خليل of الله سبحانه وتعالى أي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Our Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم As he mentions in an authentic hadith واتخذني الله خليلا Allah took Ibrahim as a خليل and he took me as a خليل <coughs> طيب قوله واجنبني وبني أن نعبد الأصنام نعم اجعلني so in a statement واجنبني ما معنى هذا الفعل نعم واجنبني so the noon النسبة so يعني distance me and keep me far away وبنية okay so we have we have the verb so we have the the word ibn <coughs> And we know the plural is abna. And we also have the plural of which is banun of the of the of the word ibn. We have banun. Naam banun. And then obviously so banun alamatu rafihi is the well. And when it becomes mansub or majroor, if it's then it is banin. 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 Now, so just stay with me for a second. Let's let's just let's, let's explain that the notes.
Okay, so you mentioned <clears throat> Banun, which means sons or children. So when it's marfu, then we see the wow. When it's mansub or majur, then it becomes banin. Okay, so <clears throat> so it's banin. So we know it's jamma mudakkar salim. So jamma mudakkar salim. As we know, they're called sound masculine plurals. So, for example, we have Muslimun, and the <coughs> the plural is what we just add a wow and a noon and becomes Muslimun. So it's the same. So Muslimun when it's marfu, when the jam mother salim. When the sound masculine plural is marfu', the sign of it being marfu' is the wow. Then when it becomes mansub, like muslimin, so you could say ra'aytu muslimin. So muslimin is mansub alamatun asbihi daya. And when it's majroor, for example, sallamtu ala al muslimin. So let's write it ra'aytu muslimin. I saw Muslims. So it's mansub here, maf'ulun bihi. And then you say, sallamtu <clears throat> ala, ala muslimin. That I gave salutations <clears throat> on Muslims. Then it's majroor ala matujarrihi ya. Okay. <clears throat> so also, when when jammu dhakar salim becomes mudaf so for example when we say we have the word muslimun zaidun plus for example al hind <coughs> india <coughs> equals how do we say muslims of india <clears throat> making it mudaf and mudaf and ilay. Ah, sent. So when, when, when the mudaf is jam mudakkar salim, <clears throat> then we would write it. <clears throat> As the sister has written, Muslimu al Hind. Muslimu al Hindi. So we say <clears throat> the noon in Muslimun, Hudifatin noon, Indal Indal Idafa. So when it's Mudaf, so when when Jemma the Krasarim is Mudaf. The noon is taken away because it's mudaf, making it easy to say Muslimul Hindi instead of Muslimun al Hindi. And the same will be, the, and it will be exactly the same if we say, for example, Ra'aytu, uh, Ra'aytu, then what's it going to be? Ra'aytu Musli. هكذا رأيت مسلم الهندي. so we wouldn't say مسلمي الهندي. we would just join the two. رأيت مسلم الهندي. I saw the Muslims of India. again we would so we would say مسلمي is منصوب. Alamatu, or we would say, Maf'ulun bihi, Mansub, Alamatu, Nasbihi, Aliyah. 
لأن النون حذفت عند الإضافة. So the sign of it being منصوب is the ya. And then the same again, we would say سلمت. I give salam على حرف جر. And then the same مسلم الهندي. So here we would say مسلم is مجرور بعلا. It's مجرور because of علا. علامة جره الياء. So we're getting to our point here. Where he says. بانية. بنية so obviously بنية is مضاف and مضاف إليه so in the ayah he says وجنبني so keep me distance or far away from وبنية is Banun. So Baniya is ban uh, Baniya. So in the ayah we have Mudaf and Mudaf on Ilay. In the word Baniya, my children. And it has its majroor, I mean, sorry, it's, it's mansoob because it's maf'ool and bihi. I'm not sure if that's clear. So the ayah would be, so we have banu. So it becomes banu because it's Or it should be Bani. So let's go back. So for example, Banun. So in, in many eyes of the Quran, we see Ya Bani. Ya Bani Israel. Naam. So here, Bani is the plural. So we, yeah, so we have the plural of Banun. So here, Bani, is it is it Mansub or is it Majroor? Is it Mansub? I, is it, does it have the Ya because it's Mansub with a Fatha? Or does it have the Ya because it's Majroor and I should have a Kasra? Okay, Mansub. Why is it Mansub? So remember, Bani here is Mudaf also. And Israel, uh, Mudaf on Ilay. Yeah, but what, what has made it Mudaf? Naam. So it, I mean, sorry, what has made it Mansub? So it's Mansub because of Harf al Nida. As you remember, when when a title or a name is mudaf and mudaf and ilay, for example, Abdullah, Abdullahi, when we add a ya harf and nida before the name Abdullah, then the mudaf becomes mansub. We say ya Abdullah, or if it's a title, Imamul Masjidi, for example. We say, Ya Imam al Masjidi. Um Zakaria, Ya Umma Zakaria. Ya and Ya, and what like we say, Allahumma, Ya Mukalib al Kulub. Oh Allah, the turn of the hearts. So here, Ya Bani Israel. 
So Allah is saying, oh children. So it's 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 mudaf and it's mansub because of the harfu and nida. Alamatu nasbihiya. And the noon is taken away. Why? Because it's jamma dhakr salim and it's mudaf. So the noon is taken away. And obviously Israel is Ya'qub alayhi salam. Yani Ya abna Ya'qub. Baniya. Yeah, so <laughs> now we'll get into it. Baniya, it has a shadda because Ibrahim is saying, my children. So he says, Baniya. So instead of saying, Naam. So he mentions, he says, Baniya. Because now he's saying, so so we have, we have Bani, which means children. And then we have the Ya Al-Mutakallim. So we have the person, the Ya Al-Mutakallim, like when you say, Rabbi, my Lord. So here we have Bani, or we just have Bani by itself, Zaidun, the Ya, which is Mutakallim, equals, so they put two Ya's in, but put a Shadda on one, which equals two. So it becomes Bani Ya, my children. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. But if you if you just study and you do the math, if you go through what we've just been through from the beginning, gradually learn the process of it. So as we said, it's Bani, as we said here. It's Bani. Why is it in, in the ayah? Wajno Bani. Wa bani. So why is why is the bani mansub in the ayah? Because it's maf'ul and bihi. Naam. So he's saying to Allah. So the first maf'ul and bihi in the ayah is the noon. Wajno bani. Like remove me. And then the second maf'ul and bihi is and. Bani and children. Zaidun ya mutakallim, which would be mine, equals Baniya. So instead of writing two yas by themselves in the Arabic, you just write one ya and you put a shed there on it, so it means two. Wa baniya. And my children. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. وَجْنُبَنِي وَبَنِيَّ الْأَصْنَامِ So remove me and my children. So that we... الْأَصْنَامِ So that we do not worship... Al-Asnam Maf'oon bihi aydan Asnam As we know Jam'u Sanam It's the plural of Sanam So if we get back to the Explanation Ijnubani Wa baniya Yani Ij'alni Make me Wa iyyahum And them I.e. Abna'i Yani Baniya so janib which means a place it can mean a place or it literally translates people translate it as a side janib Wahayizin. So they literally mean like like places. 
and dhalik. So put shirk in one place and me and my children in a in a totally different place. Al Asnam Jam Sanamin. So it explains Asnam is the plural of Sanam. Wahua Makana Manhutan. Manhutan. So Manhut is from the verb Nahata. Nahata. Which means to chisel, to engrave, to to carve, to chip. Nahata. So obviously, so how do we get this word manhut from this verb nahata? As we say, it's it is the ism maf'ul. It's the word. It's called the ism maf'ul. So, for example, uh, في قوله تعالى فجعلهم كعصف مأكول مأكول is what's known as the ism maf'ul, which which means something that was eaten. So it's from the verb أكل. So if you eat a chicken, the chicken is مأكول. It's the thing that was eaten. And all we do, for example, we have the verb fa'ala. All you do, you add a meme to the beginning and then the wow in between the middle letter and the last one. And it becomes maf'ul. And you do that to all verbs. So, for example, qatala. So, what would be the ism maf'ul from qatala? Qatala means to kill. So the, the thing that is killed, yes, it's called the maqtool. Naam. So nahata. So jam'u sanamin. Wa huwa ma kana manhutan. So it's, <clears throat> that is something that is carved or chiseled or fashioned. Ala surat al-bashar. On the image, al-bashar, mudaf mudaf ilay. Upon the image of a human, or على صورة أي حيوان, or on the image of any type of animal. طيب. In the first معنى الإجمالي للآية الأولى. So the general meaning of the first ayah: إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك. Now, so sanam is an idol. It will translate as an idol. So, يعني الشيء يعني معبود, something that's worshipped. So the first meaning of the first ayah, أَنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ يُخْبِرُ خَبْرًا مُؤَكَّدًا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he informs خَبَرًا مُؤَكَّدًا So a khabar, obviously information, or news, مُؤَكَّدًا So we know مُؤَكَّد uh, something that is stressed, highly important and stressed, like sunnah mu'akkada. Annahu, that he, la yaghfiru, that he will not forgive, li'abdin, a servant, laqiyahu, who meets him, wa huwa mushrikun, wa huwa mushrikun. Yani, so we know this is wa hal this wow here, we call it wow lil alhal. Yani it's, that's why it translates as whilst. Yani in the condition of. Yani wahaluhu mushrik. 
whilst he is in the state, i.e. he is a mushrik, be he with him. لِيُحَذِّرَنَا مِنَ الشِّرْكِ So why, why is he mentioned? He says, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us that he will not forgive a servant who meets him whilst he is a mushrik. لِيُحَذِّرَنَا مِنَ الشِّرْكِ In order to warn us from a shirk. So the severity of shirk. وَأَنَّهُ يَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ الشِّرْكِ And that he forgives مَا دُونَ يعني مَا غَيْرَ الشِّرْكِ مِنَ الذُّنُوبِ From sins. لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ To whom he wills. أَنْ يَغْفِرَ لَهُ To whom he wills to forgive. تَفَضُّلًا وَإِحْسَانًا As a virtue and good treatment from him. Lialla. So let's look at this word Lialla. So this word Lialla. We'll break it down. So Lialla, the first lamb, Li, as we know, it's so the lamb equals Lam at So Lam at as we see, uh, we see many times uh, before verbs, etc. So Lam at usually explains the reason why you do something. So, for example, you would say "Kharajtu min al fasli li ashraba al ma'a." So I left the classroom. Why? Li ashraba to drink al ma water. So lam taalil is an explanation of the verb that just came before it. Al lam taalil. Uh, يَنْصِبْ الْفِعْلِ الْمُضَارِعِ And it makes the fi'l mudari' mansub. That's why we say uh, خَرَجْتُ مِنَ الْفَصْلِ لِأَشْرَبَ الْمَاءَ So that I should, could drink water. So the first one is So لِأَلَّا is لَا مُتَّعَلِيل And then we say wa an, and it also has an an nasiba. So we see an also comes before verbs. Uridu an akula. I want to. So it usually translates as to, and it also makes the the verb mansub as well. So la mutaalil and then an and nasiba zaidun and then also it has la. We say wa la. So which la is it? Nafia or nahia? That's if it's la unna, la unna fia. So when we put the all three together, la mutaalil an an nasiba, wa la an nafia, it becomes li an la, li an la. <clears throat> so it usually translates as what? I guess suitable translation would be so, so as not to, or so not to, so as not to. <clears throat> so he says, the Allah naqnutu. So this from qanata, qanata, which means to despair. 
لِأَلَّا so that we do not نَقْنَطُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ as Allah says uh, وَقُلْ لِعِبَادِ الَّذِينَ uh, أَشْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ أَلَّا تَقْنُطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ So in the ayah Allah says and say to my servants who have yani, overcome or transgressed against themselves لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله that do not despair from the mercy of Allah إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا that Allah forgives all sins so this is the المعنى الإجماني للآية الأولى والآية الثانية قول إبراهيم وجنبني وبني أن نعبد الأصنام المعنى الإجمالي للآية الثانية أن إبراهيم الخليل عليه الصلاة والسلام يدعو ربه عز وجل أن يجعله هو وبنيه في جانب بعيد عن عبادة الأصنام وأن يباعد بينه وبينها So he says that إبراهيم الخليل ما معنى الخليل الذي بلغ أعلى درجة في المحبة عليه الصلاة والسلام that he called ربه يدعو ربه مفعول به ربه عز وجل أن يجعله that he makes him هو يجعله هو so obviously this is التوكيد so, أن يجعله وبنيه but he says يجعله هو so the shaykh is stressing here that Allah عز, uh, that Ibrahim he supplicated to Allah to make him and, and the shaykh حفظه الله he mentions هو so he's stressing Ibrahim he's the one who supplicated i.e. that that him being Ibrahim who he was the prophet and the messenger and the Khalil of Allah that even he supplicated for himself وَبَنِيهِ فِي جَانِبٍ بَعِيدٍ and ibad that, that Allah should put should put them in a place which is far and and removed and a, a huge distance between them and ibadat al asnam and the worship of idols and that he should remove baynahu wa baynaha wa in yubaid baynahu that he that he distance that he distance بينهو وبينها between him وبينها so the ها يعود إلى ماذا the ها returns back to what so the who obviously goes back to Ibrahim and the أصنام is the ها لأن الفتنة بها عظيمة because the al-fitna, so we know what al-fitna is, biha, yani al-asnam, azimah. Wala ya'manu al-wuqoo' fiha, and that a person, and that um, he should never feel safety of falling into it. The worship of asnam. So a person should never feel safe. So, the point is making it if Ibrahim never felt safe from it, as he's going to mention now. Munasabatul الْآيَتَيْنِ للباب. Okay, how the two ayahs fit in with the chapter. He says, أَنَّ الْآيَةَ الْأُولَى That the first ayah تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الشِّرْكَ أَعْظَمُ الذُّنُوبِ That the first ayah indicates to us that shirk is the greatest of all sins. لأن من مات عليه لا يغفر له. 
and the and that is due to the one who dies upon that la yughfaru lahu that there there will be no forgiveness for him wa hadha yujabu so obviously from the verb awjaba which means so this necessitates lil abd for the servant shiddatu shiddat al khawf that he should be extremely fearful min hadha al dhanb he should be extremely fearful from this sin the sin of shirk alladhi hadha sha'nuhu of which this is its affair i.e. what's its affair la yughfaru lahu so it's a sin which you cannot seek repentance from if you die so just that in its of itself shows us the importance and that it's the greatest of all sins wal ayatu thaniya naam so so like if we had um many people they would say that um that if if like a family member was to commit shirk with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then sometimes it's downplayed but when a family member was to commit one of the major sins then the family is up in arms about it all not knowing and not understanding that that person in the family who is committing shirk is far worse that his sin is far greater and far worse from the one who is committing like a major sin like he if, if he committed adultery or or he stole or any of them or drank alcohol then the person who commits shirk is far worse and far greater than that person who commits shirk he says wal ayatu thaniya and the second ayah indicates ala anna ibrahim khafa shirk ala nafsihi that the second ayah indicates that ibrahim the khalil of allah he feared a shirk ala nafsihi upon himself wada allah an yu'afiyahu min and he supplicated to allah to to protect him and to keep him far away from that famadhan which is actually report famadhanu bi ghayrihi and he says so what is the case with other than him other than ibrahim so should others besides ibrahim feel safe should others besides ibrahim not make this dua fal ayatan tadullan ala wujub al khawf min al shirk so he says so the, the two ayahs indicate to us that it is compulsory or that it is befitting and right that a person is fearful of shirk that if ibrahim who's the most knowledgeable of the people in his time the most god fearing of the people in his time understood tawhid more than anybody in his time feared shirk more than anybody knew shirk more than anybody as he grew up amongst it that if he made this dua and he was fearful of it then how could anybody other than him not feel uh, feel safe from shirk so the so the chapter gives us like uh, brings reality back to us as muslims that just because you may read uh, tawhid you may understand some of it but at the same time you should fear of falling into it as we see many of the muslims falling into a shirk wa nasal allah assalam wal afiyah ask allah to keep us all and our children and the ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam away and free of shirk 
and unite the Ummah upon Tawheed and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tadullu is from the word Dalla Yadullu. Someone's asking what's the word of Tadullu here. So it's from the word Dalla. which means like uh, to show or to guide somebody. Like the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi said, Adalu, Adalu. So he said, Adal, so the fa'il, the person who does this, we call him Adalu. Adalu. So the Prophet said, Adalu, i.e. the guide, the one who shows, Adalu ala al-khayri, Mithlu ajri fa'ili gets the same reward as the one who does the action. So when you teach someone something good, that you you are the dal or the dala if you're female, then adalatu adalu al khair mithlu ajri fa'ili gets the same as the one who does it. So dala means to indicate or to show or to guide, and obviously it means. Yadullu is the fi'l mudari' So it mentions, so it says tadullu Because the ayah is, is feminine, mu'annath So we say tadullu So we would say Muhammad yadullu ibnahu ila al-masjid So Muhammad is guiding his son to the masjid Was it Fatima tadullu bintaha Fatima is guiding her daughter. So because ayah is feminine, we say tadullu. Al-ayah, this ayah, tadullu. It shows, it guides. It shows us ala anna Ibrahim, that Ibrahim. Is that clear? Yeah, kinda. Okay, we don't go through ma yustafad min al ayatain. But if you want to go through these yourself, if you read them, we don't go through them because there's so many of them in each of the chapters. But if you want to go through them and then you're not sure what they mean, then you can ask me in the lesson, what does this uh, part mean? Okay, so... If you all have this book, after reading, after going through this chapter, make sure you read these, because these are very important. So they basically summarize everything that was mentioned in in the in the lesson. So it's like a summary of the ayahs. And then, he, then so many books do this. They give you a basically a summary of the benefits of the lesson. So if you've understood this part, all of this part, then this part should be a lot more easier for you. So for example, the first one, and shirk That shirk is the greatest of all sins. Sahal. <coughs> طيب جزاكم الله خيرا هذا وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الخير سلام عليكم السلام إياك الله